So on my channel, I renovate a ton of your guys' houses. I thought in today's video, I'm gonna switch it up and build a spooky abandoned mansion. And then in part two, I'm gonna be inviting six of my subscribers onto the video to renovate my mansion. So if you guys wanna potentially be in part two and renovate this mansion that I'm building, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server, or you can follow me on Instagram where I'll also be announcing it. But that being said, let's build the mansion or the abandoned mansion. I don't know. Okay, so I guess I can name this plot. Um, crusty, dusty, musty, not so flashy, trashy, AV mansion of hell. Impressive. Very nice. So I guess we just build this like any other mansion. And if you didn't know, Bloxburg came out with a new update. I don't really know what to call it. They just put out a bunch of weird broken items, like a broken sofa, like in a broken sink, a broken toilet. I thought it'd be such a funny idea to build like this ugly abandoned mansion using all the items and then get you guys to pretty much renovate it for me. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun. Not for me. For me, I have to build this disgusting looking mansion, but it's gonna be fun for you guys. I just realized I suck at floor plans I'm gonna have to like free ball this. How do you build a floor plan? I was like, for the mansion, I'm, I'm going for old money vibes. You know, something like this. We can have like overgrown wall vines leading up to the mansion. You know what? It's fun. I've got a few ideas we can do. Okay, so the beginning can start here. Wait, I should probably center this, right? Then again, it's an abandoned mansion. Like, who cares if it's in the center of my plot? Oh, see, lucky I done that because this was meant to be the center. This is not in the center at all. I definitely want grand stairs leading up to my mansion. Oh, wait. Oh my God. Wait, no, stop. Stop. I'm gonna do custom stairs. You know those grand stairs that lead up to your mansion? I would typically do that, but if we're going for an abandoned look, um, hello, broken down stairs. I usually hate doing custom stairs, but I mean, <laughs> if it's abandoned, it doesn't really matter if it's like centered or not. So, haha, I can make sure everything in this house is not perfect. No, ha -ha. Okay, there we go. That's our staircase leading up to the mansion. Weirdly enough, why does it actually look good though? <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. I thought I could just copy this and put it on the other side, but I cannot. I have to do the whole thing again. Why do I make these stairs look like stupid. Well, I mean, it's me building, so eventually it's gonna look stupid, right? This is so fun because I realized I can test out the new material. Pretty sure the Bloxburg developers added new tiles. Broken tiles. Oh, mate. This looks amazing. Not amazing, but you, you get it. Some old planks in between as well. Maybe some rusty stairs, you know? Okay, there's our little entrance. So uneven, it actually hurts to look at, but it's okay. Before we start working on the house, I'm gonna make the road to the house. You can also make a fake footpath of some saw dirt patches in between so it looks like it's overgrown Not every mansion has some gorgeous fountains at the front we'll do the same except we're just gonna have a bunch of like shrubs and grass everywhere so when someone walks past they're gonna be like um ew where is your gardener this is so fun i love doing abandoned houses because i can just close my eyes and go beep 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 boop 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 oh it's so lovely okay and we can't forget a fence i mean it is a private estate after all instead of a gate like this photo though we'll just have caution tape <laughs> stay out or the rats will eat you how do we make these fence abandoned? Um, corn stalk fences. Yeah. When was the last time I added a corn stalk fence? I don't think ever. There's an abandoned mansion where I live actually. And everyone I know has gone there except for me. Years ago, my friends were like, hey, Alaska, let's go to this abandoned mansion. And I'm like, do you want to die? It's like 10 p.m. when they sent me that message. And I'm like, mm, no, I choose life. Do you want me to tell you your future? No thanks. I choose my own destiny. But yeah, that's uh, the front of our garden. Very preppy. Now for the actual mansion itself. I mean, I'm assuming we can make it pretty big. There's gonna be six people that are gonna be working on it. Guys, this was weird. I'm not used to like sketching out floor plans. I usually have the floor plan all sketched out, but <laughs> not today. I genuinely think I could never live in a mansion though. You're telling me you have all of this room to do what? What are you gonna do with all this space? That is terrifying. Okay, I know that I want this to be the grand entrance and I think I definitely want this back area here to be the living room and i want this to be a two-story living room so we can then fit a massive chandelier up here and oh i actually thought of the coolest idea we're gonna have a massive room here and i'm thinking all this section here can be the garage and probably like where is the cars gonna go up here the car gets in with the side of the house on a ramp like a secret entrance to the house if you will like this oh mommy i meant what who said that oh, like a massive footpath leading all the way oh i love it oh and then i guess this is the perfect perfect spot to have my driveway fence except it's not giving abandons so we're gonna be using this instead okay so this leads up into the driveway obviously oh so then maybe this room here can be the kitchen no the dining room yes 
this right here dining room and then can lead all the way out into the kitchen okay so i guess that's the left wing of the mansion now for the right wing first off we need a hallway that intertwines into all of the rooms so we have a hallway here maybe split this room up this can be the library and then our office can go at the back here and do we have a bathroom no we don't <laughs> kind of forgetting the important things we need a bathroom and this can be our guest bedroom we can have a guest bedroom here and then for the second wing oh wait where are the stairs gonna go <laughs> These right here scream abandoned old money mansion. Now that we've mapped out where the stairs are gonna go, we can continue working on the upstairs area. On the second floor, we can have bedroom number one, bedroom number two. I think I wanted this section down here to be a library, so I'm actually gonna leave this open to the first floor. And last but not least, another hallway that leads into some more bedrooms. I think that is our floor plan, all complete. So now we can start making this abandoned looking. Oh, now that I think of it, I kind of want to add a tennis court as well. Okay, you know what? If you guys are watching this video, and I choose you to renovate this mansion. Add a tennis court, okay? I'm manifesting you to add a tennis court at the back of this mansion. Please! I'm not doing it because guess what? I cannot be bothered. <laughs> now, the thing is, what color do we paint this mansion? We've got dirt stains. Oh, lovely. Stained uneven stripes. Oh, old wide vertical planks. Oh, wow. It's so lovely in here. I found a loophole to this video though. At least if someone's like, um, Alaska, this build actually sucks. I'm just gonna be like, well, that's the whole point. So <laughs> I just want to be in the Bloxburg developer room when they're like, okay, what should we do for this month's update? Whose idea was it to be like, mm, homeless core? Out of all the things I was expecting to see, definitely was not this. Trash! Okay, now, <laughs> the windows. I already know what I'm adding. These broken windows. We have a lot of broken things to choose from. I mean, at the front here, we have some gorgeous little broken traditional windows. You want to make it abandoned? We can just make it rusty. Look at this little broken sunset window. Wait, it's kind of cute though. Okay, one thing that sucks though is I can't change the size of these windows. Instead of broken windows, we're adding end windows at the top here. Some wooden planks and then place them on the top of the window. I just realized I want a balcony at the front of this roof. Then I can place some pillars below this. I would usually go with these fancy pillars. Considering this is an abandoned house, we're gonna have to use maybe stage columns instead. Make it out of wood so it looks like a construction site. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful. What do you think? It's so crappy in here. I mean, hey, on a side note, this man is gonna have like the fattest glow up ever. I don't really care how the roof looks like. That looks so stupid. Why does this look like a school? It doesn't even look like a house right now. Maybe if I add some fake walls at the back, I made it look a little bit better. It still looks like an abandoned school though. <laughs> okay, next up we need the door. The new door they added was this uh, broken door. Although it's not very like grand. So we might double it like that. And we'll just put another basic shape underneath. See, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe to add this all together, we can have some dead trees at the front. Okay, and I think that is the outside of the mansion all Done. I know chandeliers are a bit too fancy, but you can always have a chandelier at the top. Not make it work, so you just paint the light black and make the actual material like out of rust. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now for the inside of this monstrosity. The wallpaper, we're choosing these stained uneven stripes. A dark green color. Ew. This looks like a haunted house. I kind of want to have red carpet for the floor. Okay, and what can we have in our entryway? Maybe instead of paintings, we can have some exposed wall structures. We've also got exposed wall piping. Maybe right underneath this, we can have a sprinkler. A little water puddle on the floor, so then it looks like there's a spillage. Broken sofa. Well, we're going to leave that for the living room. What's this? Lonely light bulb. What if we do a custom broken table? So a vertical cylinder and then a vertical cylinder on top. So we'll paint it like a normal table, except we'll use the trans form tool and kind of break it a little bit. <laughs> Our table! It's broken! And then on the floor we'll just have like trash. All of the hallways we're using some arch opening. That way you guys will understand the look I'm going for when you renovated. I just realized there's not going to be much light in here so we might just have a few lanterns as well. Wait, doesn't Bloxburg have rats now? Oh my gosh, they do. They have a mouse hole. Freak people out. We'll have a mouse hole right here. So that's our front entrance. Very grand if I say so myself. Now the next room I want to do is the living room. I'm going to use these detailed tiles for the walls. I know they're kind of fancy but whenever I see them I'm just picturing an old 
old abandoned mansion for some reason. Now, because this living room is going to be two story, we'll also need to make sure to add windows up the top here. Oh, and a fireplace. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to have a fireplace up the top. So change the material to rust and make the flame black. So then it looks like there's nothing coming out of the fire. Okay, we've got these new broken sofas. Oh, they are broken. Bro Look at these books underneath. Damn. These sofas are holding on for dear life. <laughs> I will sit on them and they'll be gone in a minute. Okay, we've also got a broken coffee table. Usually in my living rooms, I will have some bookcases. It looks like they've added some new cinder block bookcases. So I guess we can also add those. And let's be honest, if this was abandoned, all these books would be gone. Hey, so I guess that is our living room. Maybe throughout the rooms and the hallways, we can add these holes. It's so like you can see into the other room. Hello there. Always are just gonna be an extension to the entryway, so nothing too crazy. Oh, and maybe some paintings on the wall. You know those creepy, fancy paintings? Abandoned mansion would definitely have these. All right, so next up we got is the kitchen. Whoop, whoop, so excited. You know what though? I do love these tiles. I just think the black and white tiles look kind of cool, not gonna lie. Okay, so all the broken kitchen supplies. Let's have a look. Okay, first up we have um, a broken stove. I reckon you can actually use these though. I don't know if you can use them, that's the thing. This is how I want the kitchen to look like before it got abandoned. I'm gonna try my best to go with a Victorian look. You no, know, it's very difficult considering this kitchen is ugly. Something I found strange though is that they didn't add a broken fridge. They added everything else but a broken fridge. I haven't put a microwave in here. I guess we can use the cheapest microwave. You guys are gonna have so much fun renovating this. I'm gonna have a rusty fridge and as that's the layout of the kitchen, now we need an island bench. However, you know, I think I'm gonna make a custom made island bench. Okay, we've got our island bench. Now for the lighting. Lonely light bulbs. What on earth is that? This is just genuinely turned into a horror movie because ew. Don't make this worse though. Orange lighting. Ugh. That is disgusting. <sighs> I can't. Instead of pretty little decorations on our island bench in our kitchen, we can add trash. Trash and a bug spray. All right, and I guess that's our kitchen. So next up, we can do our garage. This actually fits quite a lot of cars. And luckily for me, I have a few in my inventory. So I guess we can have two cars. Don't worry, guys. They're going to be all made out of metal. <laughs> Okay, what else do we have here? Stacked wooden pallets. So we can stack these up in our garage. I think I'm just gonna decorate this the way I would normally decorate a garage, except make it trashy. I'd usually have big storage cabinets at the back of my garage. Feels like I'm building a set in The Walking Dead. Okay, this is gonna be empty. I don't wanna put too much in the garage. Just need the lighting really, and the only lights that we have are only light bulbs. Every time I add them, I just feel like gagging. Like, they're so ugly. So, I guess that is our garage. Now, moving on to the right wing of the house. We have yet another hallway here. I'm just gonna fill in with other couches. I kind of like the original coloring, so I'm not gonna change it up too much, to be honest. Okay, I just thought of something. What about if we add wall trims? Except not on all of the walls, they're only on some of them. Like some walls get wall trims, some don't. Now this room right here leads into the library. So I kind of want this to be a grand opening. We have some more planks here, so it's like don't go in. And some more caution tape because we love caution tape. Hehe. <laughs> and dirt stains for the wall. <laughs> now as this is going to be a two-story library, most of this is just going to be filled with books. However, along the wall we can add some creepy exposed wall openings. So it just looks really Really run down. Oh my god, ew, this is triggering my triphobia. If you didn't know, I have like a fear of little tiny holes. I cannot look, <laughs> it's disgusting. Bloxburg already has these oak bookshelves, which I hate, so we're adding them. And then along this wall, we're just filling this up with empty books. Because it's abandoned, I feel like people would break in and steal all the books. Like, sorry, if I found an abandoned mansion, you think I'm still in a chandelier? Uh-uh-uh. I'm gonna be still in those books, mademoiselle. Did I just call you guys mademoiselle? What? And we cannot forget those letters that lead up into the bookshelves. And I know I added two carpets in here, but we're only gonna add one table. I want it to look like there's furniture that's been stolen, so we're not gonna add too much furniture. We'll just add random crates and boxes. Oh, as this is a library, just random paper scattered on the floor. Like some random 12 year old would definitely come in and just throw books everywhere. And now we can move on to, I think this is gonna be the bathroom. I'm so excited to do the bathroom. I've already seen like, some of the furniture they've added for the bathroom. Broken toilet, broken sink. Along the walls, we'll just add pipe. What is Bloxburg's deal lately? Every single time I add something to the wall, it makes it the original color, which is so annoying. For some reason, Bloxburg didn't add a broken bathtub. So we're gonna add a fancy bathtub and we're just gonna make it rusty. And then the toilet can go near the 
door. No toilet paper because we are scoundrels in this house. Oh, I actually know the perfect shower to add in here. You already know. I'm going to be adding one of these basic showers. I love just adding trash on the ground and then next video you guys have to clean it up. <laughs> it would be cool if we could add a broken mirror. Except they didn't add broken mirrors. And then you guessed it, for the lighting, one single lonely light bulb. I no longer think I'm in Bloxburg right now. I think I'm in a horror game. <laughs> So we've got two last rooms to do downstairs. I guess we can do my office first. I'm gonna have to go around this house with a lantern in my hand. That is how dark it is right now. <laughs> I wanna make this like the creepiest looking office. We can also add in our office a mattress just in case like people that have been camping out in this house. I'm also gonna add spider webs on the wall. And I really want a TV in here. Except we're not gonna add a big fancy TV. No. Add a very old vintage TV. Like let's be honest, who would steal a vintage TV nowadays? I would. Built-in cabinets with absolutely nothing inside because everything was stolen. And as for our very important documents, they can just be like scattered all on the floor like this. And lastly, on the first floor, we have the guest bedroom. Now, for the guest bedroom, what if we get rid of these pipes? Instead, we just add a hole in the wall. It goes directly from the bathroom to my bedroom. Are you ready for the most elegant, gorgeous bedroom you've ever seen in your life? First up, old mattress. Instead of pillows, we add piles of trash. Instead of a fancy bedside table, we have a wooden spool table with a mouse trap and some bug spray. And just in case we want to watch some TV during the night, we can even copy our TV setup from the office. See, isn't that just so gorgeous? You know what I'm going to add as well? A dropping spider. This is going to terrify me. And as this is going to be my wardrobe, I think I'm just going to knock down this wall and add Bloxburg's new clothesline. These can be all the clothes from all the people that broke in and now live in here. So that being said, guest bedroom number one is complete, which means we can now start working on the second story. I'm just going to continue using the same color palette as downstairs. That way we still have a Victorian theme going on within the house. I usually I would add rails to the upstairs area, but I don't really think we care about rails, so I'm not adding them. Oh, but these two walls here are meant to be two stories. I guess we'll add some stone railing so we don't accidentally, I don't know, fall off and die. I was putting plain high arches on the top of these pillars. What if we mess up one of the plain high arches so it looks like it's falling down? I love it. I love when things look broken. Oh yes, let's make this look so stupid. It looks so broken and ugly. I love it. So the first thing I'm going to decorate is this massive hallway. And as in decorate, I literally just mean adding broken sofas and a table in the middle. Why does this look like a ritual is going on here? Should we make it that actually? It's one single candle. <laughs> that looks terrible. I guess we'll start on my master bedroom, which is technically in here. For the bed, we also have this broken double bed, which is kind of cool. I don't want to add bedside tables though. I want to add the least amount of furniture as possible. But yes, I just built a broken custom bedside table. Was it worth it? Absolutely. There's definitely someone living in this bedroom. So I'm going to add a candle and a sofa in the corner. Should we add a TV in here? Sure. We'll give the people breaking in some entertainment. And because I'm just feeling so generous, this is gonna be the only bed that's gonna have blankets. It's fine because it's gonna be like a pea colored yellow. And over here we can have our closets. So typically I would use these stylish closets, but let's be honest, all these clothes are gonna be stolen. Empty bookshelves instead. We'll just have one single towel on top. No, no one wants this. So yeah, we've got bedroom number one. As for the balcony, you wanna see what I'm gonna do with this balcony? You wanna see? Boom, done. I added a pile of trash. Okay, ducky. So this room right here, I want this to be a kid's room. What if I put these wooden plates on the floor? Then I put an old mattress on top. How do you make this look like an abandoned kid's bedroom though? What if we just have toys scattered on the ground? You know what would be even creepier? Kid toys scattered in the hallway. I don't know if I've told you guys this once, but still even saying this creeps me out. Okay, you know those censored kids toys where when you walk past, it starts playing a song? Anyway, my niece had one of these. And whenever you walked past it, it's started singing twinkle twinkle little star but hers was left in the rain so it was like rusty and every time it went off it was like twinkle twinkle little star it was really creepy that was my weird impression don't judge me and i remember i left it outside because it kept going off in the house and it was annoying so i left it outside there was absolutely no wind it was a peaceful night and what do i hear at three o'clock in the morning the demonic sounds of twinkle twinkle little star and where was it you may ask right outside my window and this is the part where 
it gets even creepier. Looking back now, I'm like, why did I do this? But anyway, I went outside, I switched it off. I took the batteries out because it was annoying me. Guys, I kid you not, I swear. Half an hour goes by, what do I hear? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. My heart nearly jumped out of my butt. And I don't know if you guys have ever done this as a kid, but um, <laughs> you know when you're scared and you like hide under the blankets, hoping that would help? That's literally what I done. And then I never mentioned it. So till this day, I'm convinced there's like a demon in my backyard, so that's great. <laughs> Okay, this is guest bedroom number three, four. I don't know, I've lost count. We've got one more bedroom to go, and then we have the bathroom. Oh, but the bathroom's pretty simple, as the majority of the furniture is just gonna be copied from downstairs anyway. I just can't wait to see this whole thing renovated. Like, I am so excited. Now, lastly, we just have the last bedroom. You know what I'm gonna do for this last bedroom? We're just gonna have a mattress in the middle of the room, because ill. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever met someone that has their mattress in the middle of their room? I get, like, the middle of your bedroom. Like, this, the middle, I get. But in the middle, middle, in the center, you're a psychopath. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Okay, that's all we're having in bedroom number five or six. I don't know, I've lost count. So, on a good note, the mansion is complete. This pretty little mansion comes to $304,000. All I'm gonna say is that it has potential to be very beautiful. Right now, it's looking disgusting. Now, before we actually go inside, I'm gonna have to get a lantern. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to see much in here. So, let's make our way inside. Okay, opening the doors. Oh, great. Oh, okay. I kind of look like God right now. Wait, if I hold a sword, does that make me look crazy? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe or else. <laughs> okay, Lenton, where do I go? Hey, so making our way inside. We've got the stunning foyer that leads directly into the living room. As you can see, the furniture in here, it's, it's very unique. It's very gorgeous. We also have the kitchen, which technically is meant to be through this hallway to the right. But because this house is so run down, we can just jump through the walls and then boom, we are inside the kitchen. The thing is, can we use any of the things in the kitchen. Can I make pancakes? Wait, what? I can use this oven. Best $150 I've ever spent on an oven. I wish you were me. I'm literally making hot dogs in like the sexiest mansion you've ever seen. So we also have some bug repellent that we can use if people don't like my YouTube videos. So I have some trash on the ground. These are people that aren't subscribed to my channel. And now coming through these crusty dusty doors. This is the garage. You know what? It's a very, very big garage. I'll give it that. I like the fact that it goes all the way back here, which is pretty cool. We've got our Ford Mustang right over here. And then if we come over to the right wing of the house, we have library. My personal favorite room because I love books, even though there's not really many books in here anymore. And then we have the bathroom. Oh wow, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, ew. Oh gosh, look at me. This is what my channel has come to, guys. And downstairs here, we have the office. I've got no words. And lastly, the bathroom. Stop it. Get away from me. Yeah, go up there. Anyway, we've got um the bedroom. I don't want to be in here, okay? That spider actually scared me. <laughs> I don't find you funny. What I love about this is that if you need to go to the toilet at 3 a.m., you can just jump through the wall and then you're in the bathroom. So now, if we come upstairs, we have this weird whole yes, gathering. Up to the right wing, we have this gorgeous foyer looking over the library. Guest bedroom number two. Guest bedroom number three. Guest bedroom number four, aka the main bedroom with its own balcony. Over here, we have the kids' bedroom, which is the most terrifying room in this house, I think. If I'd have a lantern right now, it would be so much scarier than it is. <laughs> I feel like something's gonna jump out of the corner and be like, let's have another bathroom upstairs. I don't know why there's pizza on the ground, but I mean, hey, comes in handy. So yeah, that is our abandoned mansion. I'm getting out of here before I creep myself out. This is definitely the weirdest build I have ever done in Bloxburg. I'm excited for you guys to renovate it and see how the end result looks. So again, if you guys wanna potentially renovate this mansion, I'll be choosing six of you. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one of this series and I shall see you in part two. Bye!